Everybody, welcome back to Get Weld Soon. Like I promised, a mirror weld. We just looked through this mirror and welded the back side of this pot sitting right here. Stay tuned. I'll show you how we did it. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna be sitting here. I got my, got my mirror set up. This is gonna be my view in the mirror. This is what I'm gonna be able to see here. So I'm gonna start over here on this side and I'll feed my wire and just slowly have your heat down, have your heat turned down low enough where you can just go slow. Take it easy. And I'm gonna go to about center and I'll stop and then I'll do the other side the same. And I'll change my mirror. I'll move my mirror over here so I'll be able to see the other side. So you can see my camera in the top left corner of the of the of the screen there. And it was very difficult to keep my head out of the way of the camera. Uh, a mirror weld is hard enough already. And to make it harder, try to video one and get a good shot. <laughs> it was really difficult. I could not see nearly as good as I needed to. Um, I was having to hold my head over to the left and down further than I needed to. Uh, but anyway, sometimes I was having to use one eye. But anyway, uh, so here's the shot of the actual weld. You can see my hood right there. Uh, kind of in the way a little bit. I'm trying to stay out of the way and and be able to see my weld at the same time. Uh, it was really difficult to make this video. Uh, it was even harder than a regular mirror weld. But anyway, uh, I got some pretty good shots for you. And hopefully you can learn something from this video. That's the whole point. So just turn your heat down, you know, low enough to where you can go slow because uh, uh, unless you're just really good or something, you're not going to be able to <laughs> not going to be able to just go fast with it. So I, I've got mine turned down. I believe it was about 85 or 90. Just go slow. Make sure your your puddle's flowing good, and you can you can just take your time. All right, guys. So I'm pretty much, pretty much flush. A little silica right there where I pulled out. Now it's time to cap it. So here we go on the first stringer uh, on the cap. Uh, you can see I'm trying to find my where my wire is. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get it situated uh i'm looking through the mirror and uh, keep in mind you can you can see in this video way better than i could see actually welding it looking through the mirror um, a lot of times i was having to use one eye because uh, i was having to hold my head over trying to keep it keep it out of the way of the camera but uh anyway here we go stringer number two here we go You'll notice here, I'm about to stick my tungsten. I did just a little bit. It just barely stuck. But uh, anyway, that's going to happen. Uh, learning for sure. And uh, just don't get frustrated. So this is my third stringer here. Um, I probably would have been fine. Just I could have capped it in two stringers probably. But uh, it always seems like three stringers look better to me. Uh, 
trust me, it's going to be ugly enough already. Mirror weld. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I put another stringer on it uh, just to make it look a little better. I think they look a little better than two. So anyway, I put three on it. And uh, keep in mind, you can always, if it's ugly, you can always go back over it um, and add just a tiny bit of wire. And uh, that'll help help it look a whole lot better. I didn't do that in this video, but you can definitely do that. If I was on the job, I would have done that for sure. Okay, guys, so I hit it with a brush, and uh, here's for the big reveal. There she is. Is it pretty? Negative. But hey, this is a mirror weld. They're not easy. So I'll take it. Now, if your weld looks really rough, which this one didn't look great, I'll be honest, but anyway, you can run back over it with a TIG rig. If you're a TIG welder, you already know that. You can, you can wash back over it, just add just a tad bit of wire. You're not really supposed to dry run them, but people do it. <laughs> anyway, uh, you can just go back over it really slow with just adding just a little bit of wire and it'll smooth it out a lot better and, and it'll look a lot better. But I, I didn't take the time to do that on this video. If you're a TIG welder, you already know that. Anyway, I hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a old thumbs up and we'll see you next time.